Does the gentleman from New York wish to be recognized? I move to strike the last word, Mr. Chairman. Without objection, the gentleman from New York is recognized for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, you may recall I was standing here approximately two hours ago waiting to speak with several other members on the efforts of my Republican friends to eliminate Medicare as we know it. And for reasons that are known only to the chair, I was denied the ability to do that. Well, I'm back. And just to review the bidding, here's where it was before that order was made. We had the chairman of the Republican Congressional Campaign Committee, a good man, a guy I like, stand down in the well and say, oh, no. And this, by the way, is someone who was elected by the Republican members to represent him in races all around the country, saying that the Ryan plan wasn't a plan. It was, and I'm quoting here, to const a, a construct to develop a plan. And he said that the proposal was not a voucher program. And then he said it was a one-size-fits-all, that Medicare was draining our economy, is what he said. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that might be the rationale for our Republican friends wanting to eliminate Medicare. But none of those things are true. It is not a construct to develop a plan. It is the proposal of the Republican Party of the United States of America to eliminate Medicare as a guaranteed entitlement. If you don't believe me, go get the book that they wrote, go get the budget that they wrote, go get the bill that they wrote. And if you believe that it's not a voucher program, listen to their own members talk about it. The Medicare program today is not, I say to my friends, one size fits all. My good friend from Georgia, Mr. Gingrey, was on the floor before talking about how it's one size fits all. How can it possibly be you can be a member of the United States House of Representatives and not understand how Medicare works? Each individual senior gets to go to the doctor of their choosing, gets to go to the clinic of their choosing, gets to decide for themselves where they go. And then the doctor and the patient make decisions. The only question is, are we going to say to citizens who are 65 and older, Here's a coupon, go buy private insurance at 25 and 30 percent overhead rather than the Medicare program, which the actuaries say costs 1.05 percent in overhead. We've also heard them say, you're demagoguing. We don't really want to get rid of it. You do. Now, there is a saying here in Washington that a gaffe is when the Republicans actually say what they think. So there have been plenty of opportunities to see this gaffe in full play. Now, they've been tying themselves in intellectual knots trying to get out from under the basic fact. By the way, I hope your insurance plan, the Ryan plan, covers the, the twisted arms and limbs you get tying yourselves in knots explaining this. It is a radical departure from where we are today. Mr. Gingrich was right. Even the blind squirrel can find a nut once in a while. He was right. It's a radical departure. Own it. Show a little, a little gumption. Show that you're prepared to own your own proposals. But now that you want to do it, and the American people are seeing the difference between Democrats and Republicans, now you're trying to squirrel your way out of it with no disrespect to squirrels. You say we don't have a plan. Not only did we pass a health care plan a year ago that extended 10 years to life expectancy of Medicare, but I'll go one better. I'll give you a plan. How about Medicare not starting at 65? What about 55 or 45 or 35? What is it that health insurance companies do in this country? Now, I know my Republican friends are wholly owned subsidiaries of the Republican Party, but that should, should uh, of the insurance industry, but that should not mean that our seniors lose their Medicare because of it. So my friend, Mr. Sessions, and Mr. Gingrey, are trying desperately to try to figure out how to get out from under your own beliefs. We believe in Medicare. We created it. We believe in Social Security. We created it. We believe in the Health Care Act. We created it. As a matter of fact, every improvement of health care in this country, Democrats proposed, Republicans opposed, and now they have a chance to get rid of it, and they're doing it. But at least if you're going to do it, at least if you're going to try to do it, don't try to silence people who point it out. And I think the lesson here is it might be later. If you had me come back at midnight, I would have said it. If I came back at 2 a.m., I would have said it. Because the American people are going to see what's going on here. You have a proposal to eliminate Medicare a proposal to privatize a portion of Social Security by investing in the stock market, a proposal to roll back the expansion of prescription drug coverage for seniors. You have a proposal to take away the benefits of those 25 and younger to be able to get health insurance. That is your proposal. Own it. 
live with it in brace it because we're not going to let you get out from under it and you may delay me you may gavel me you might tell me you got to come back at two o'clock in the morning it's not going to change the fundamentals of this debate that if you leave fundamentally in medicare at this point you got two choices tear up your republican party membership or give up control of congress and frankly some of you are going to have to do both gentlemen's time has expired for what purpose does the gentleman from New Jersey wish to be recognized?